Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming at you right after the break. 2023 New York Mets. Just about ready to go. And on the hill, the big righty, Tyler McGill. What do we have on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that Leading I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just Kyle. able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Kyle Schwarber stands in now and watches strike one. First pitch, no one o'clock. That's in there, and it's nothing in two. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Put him away. Give him your best stuff. Here you go. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough. And played right the into the Trey hands of the pitcher. Turner. Here's Turner now. On the ground to the left. To first, and he beats it. Boog, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster that gets the hurt. infield single, and now he's on base three. to possibly do some right. damage. I love Perfect. seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. And now here is Harper. Certainly you'd say Bryce Harper's out, signature now, moment, game five of the National League Championship Series in 2022, that opposite field home run. Lindor, that's one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Back here at City Field and pitching here today, Taiwan Walker. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those Leading weapons. He may lean on one the or two pitches base. depending on how Alec. things are going and how things are working. Oh. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And the right hander back to work. Alec Bohm, yep, the next out. to hit, takes outside. He's already pitching with a 4 nothing lead, so we should see him be aggressive. Fill up the strike zone, don't issue free hey, passes. Gets under and pops it up. Mauricio drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Bryson. Stop. This is Bryson Stott. Down New York. And that's in there for strike one. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Oh, and one now. And a swing and a miss. No Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Hey, 
get him with your best stuff right here. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. JT Real Muto steps in. Counts 1-0. and Next offering is in for a strike. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. Next one is off the plate. Two and one. Gets him to chase after that one. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Phillies down in order. They're on the short end of a four-nothing score. On to the third inning. Now it's the veteran outfielder. Right fielder, number eight. Nick McGill goes six feet seven inches, 230 pounds, and he was drafted in the eighth round. Back in 2018, ball one, no strikes. That one drifts inside. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And it's second. Woo! Swing and a miss as he was late. No balls, two strikes. Pitch misses oh, there. One and two to Cal. Left hand batter waits. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. He came out of his mechanics there. That Typically he likes to shoot the, the ball the field. other way, but Johan. that time, a little anxious. Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. In there, and it's 0-1. Castellanos the leads off right second here. with Let's one go. gone in the inning. Fly ball down the line. And that's a fair ball. Throws to second. He pulls into second as a run scores. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. So the batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Let off the game with a strikeout. Pitch misses there, and that ball is one, ball no one. Hey, we got one. Right hander kicks deals up the middle. Mauricio with the throw to first. Schwarber out of the play. Now batting, 
shortstop, Trey Turner. Trey Turner at the plate. Reached on an infield single his first time. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. There's a strike. Turner had a really good college career at NC State. He went to the 2013 College World Series and led all of college baseball with 55 stolen bases that season. Pretty incredible. Rudder at third, two away. And he chases that one. Good job at damage control right there. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Mets four and the Phillies one. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Bryce Harper. Harper. And the pitch. And that's in for a strike. You know, these Phils just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. And there's a strike. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One up, one down. And now it's and Alec Bohm. He's over one. Alec Bohm. On the corner for a strike. 0 and 1. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Hey, plays it one now. Yo one. Just Come on, missed. Come on, up. Let's go, Matt. Way out front for strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The one two. Swing and a base hit. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That one's in there. Strike one. Boom. Leads off first with one away. Next offering is down low. Ground ball could be two. Baden over to second, over to first, but he beats it. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball now, out of the air. Kevin. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Real Good ball. execution. Man at first. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Line drive, base hit. 
Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's right Nicholas here. Castellanos. Nope. First offering, and it just misses. Righty delivers. Swing and a grounder foul for space side. And the right hander deals. And that one hit to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Excellent stop right there. He wants to take it himself, waves the pitcher off, and continues to run into the dugout. And welcome back. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Marsh. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite-level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Strike two. Oh, two is the count. That one misses, and it's one and two. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Kicks and fires. And now two and two. Hey, we got no out. Three two now. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent now control bad. and command, not the walking opposing field. batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Rojas takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. The next offering misses. Ball two. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. And another ball. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Here's a 3-0. Yeah, there's nope, ball four. Ball four. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little now surprised it went his way at the plate. Hit. But as a hitter, Kyle you'll take that all day. Schwarber. Back to the top of the lineup. And here's the Phillies' leadoff man, Kyle Schwarber. Now, remember, That's Kyle Schwarber grew up in Ohio and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams his favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. swung on popped up left side drops into the glove and there are two down the batter number seven shortstop Trey Trey Turner with a chance now one for two
got two. Two down. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And fouled off. Two outs. And now one and two. Righty to the plate. And that one lifted in the air center field. Turner is out. And the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. They're down 5-1. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the first baseman, Bryce Harper. McGill back to work. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone, sometimes he bats over before it really begins. And that one pulled foul. Hey, all right, here we go. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Stop. In the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. On the ground, right side. Throws to first. And that is the third out of the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Mets five. Back here in Queens, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's the Phillies catcher, JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Oh, Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The pitch. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. In the air, center field, and it falls. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. You got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, 
you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Here comes a pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Ground ball left side could be two. Takes it to the bag. That's one. Over to Alonzo. Double play. Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. I mean, that was a perfect decision. Go ahead, take it yourself, get to second, and then fire to first. Make sure you get those two outs. Hey, we got two. Marsh nope. at the plate now. That's ball one. Come on, fellas, let's go. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes to count. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Oh. Just oh, missed. Three-0 -oh down. There's a strike. And it's filled up. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. And a pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Up next for Philadelphia. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. So, man aboard and digging in for Philadelphia, Johan hey, Rojas. Right, in there for strike one. The pitch. Base knock center field. Marsh coming home. Comes through now with back. the RBI. That's You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long yeah. through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Next is the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Rojas off of first with two away. That misses the zone. And now two and oh. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. At the belt and fires. That's down and in. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Here's a 3 0. Right. And that's in there at the knees. So now two on and two outs. His ability to draw walks has been something 
that's been part of his career since day one. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. The Ladies Mets with a new arm on the mound, Phil please. Bickford. And he's now got a nice lead to work with, so he should Number come in 50. throwing strikes, attacking Bill. these hitters. Bickford. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. The final line score for this afternoon.